Hello there. Part 3 of my series on capital budgeting is on internal rate of return, which simply stated is the rate of return on a project if carried out to completion. And it is calculated as that discount rate that sets the net present value equation, which is what you see right here, equal to zero. And so essentially what you're going to be doing is substitute the cash flows uh, from the project and then over whatever the period of the investment is and then solve for the discount rate which turns out to be the uh, internal rate of return and if that rate comes out to be greater than the cost of capital used for the project then you should go ahead and accept the project so using the data sets from previous examples for the NPV uh, shown uh, earlier so here for projects A and B all we gotta do is substitute in the values as you can see here are the cash flows rather and then you might say well this is one equation I want unknown and so it should be uh, pretty easy to solve for or the one unknown which is IRR and you are right though however bear in mind that this is a, a rather complex polynomial because uh, uh, the only way that we can really pursue this perhaps you know is by trial and error but then again that's too much of an old school thing to do because in this day and age with uh, some new contraptions such as the financial calculator and spreadsheet we should be able to hook this up uh, fairly quickly so I just wanted you to see the statements of work right here so I'm gonna go ahead and use my BA2 plus and by the way you can use either the student version or the professional version to deal with this so now let's do that all right, and here's the a summary of the command right here. So let me move this to this side, and we're going to do that for project A. So we're going to use the cash flow register. When you click on it, the first thing you want to do is to clear the work already done in that mode. And it is a second function because it's on the floor of the calculator. So you got to hit second and then hit this key, and it zaps it all out. So now we're ready to rock and roll. For CF sub zero, it's 5,000. But don't forget to place the negative in front of it because it's a cash outflow it's the cost of the project so you do that by hitting this plus minus key and then enter alright don't forget to enter you gotta do that and then scroll down to C1 and C1 is 4000 enter and scroll to C2 bypassing the frequencies the F's that is and C2 is 1000 and enter and scroll to C3 which C3 is 800 and enter and scroll to C4 which is 600 enter and let's also scroll to C5 and C5 finally is 300 enter and you can always scroll through to make sure when you're done entering to go over all the entries make sure everything looks uh, spiffy alright and um, and with that um, we're, we should, we're done so go ahead and hit IRR and then go ahead and hit um, tells you here computes which is CPT right there 18.52 percent that's it right there and by the way for good measure we can use Excel spreadsheets and these are going to be the results and this is the command right here so let's do that and again that's your cheat sheet so I'm going to come there and redo the ones I did earlier on equal IRR open parenthesis and now though using the IRR function in Excel we're going to catch all the cash flows beginning from the initial cash flow at time zero unlike in the case of NPV uh, where you start from cash flow at time period one and then add the initial cash flow or subtract it actually all right so now so we click on this and grab it all the way to the end and close parenthesis and voila we can do the same for this guy right here IRR open parenthesis get all of them close parenthesis and that's all she wrote right and going back to our presentation right here again a reminder of the function and uh, now though these two IRRs that we have here we now got to make our investment decision if the two projects are independent such as a firm considering the purchase of a truck and separately uh, considering the considering investing in a warehouse these are two independent projects one has none to do uh, with the other in which case the firm is going to accept both projects why well because their IRRs exceed the cost of capital of 12 percent now though but if they are mutually exclusive in the sense that we can only choose 
one project, say in the case of a firm considering purchasing a truck made by GM and uh, a similar truck made by Ford, the firm doesn't want to buy both, it's only going to buy one. So ac according to this analysis, we're going to have to choose project A because it has the greater internal rate of return. So that's the decision as made by the IRR, select the project with the greater uh, IRR. So here's a, n a nice little practice for you and uh, so I've set it up for you right here the old school way, alright, one equation, one unknown, but you know you ain't gonna do this. You're gonna have to use your financial calculator or spreadsheet just like I've shown you and then you're gonna hook it up and that's gonna put a smile on your face. Alright, that's all there is to it.